Ah, today is a good day to play Minecraft. Let's go. Hmm, seems very nice. I, I like this new texture pack. Oh, what, what's that? Hmm, that's pretty interesting. What? I'm not a noob. I am not a noob. <laughs> I'm not. What is this? What is this? <laughs> Wrong. Hey guys, what's up? It's Minute Up, and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. So, I had a request to show how to install a texture pack on a Mac, and this is pretty similar on all systems, but this is a Mac tutorial. So, if you're on Windows, I'm not too too Windows savvy, so don't don't cry into me. But I'm gonna do this for Mac, so we we gonna do it now. So, first thing you're gonna need to do is download the texture pack that you want so for this tutorial because I use doku craft light I'm gonna show you how to do that so I have the doku craft light download link in the description now I don't know if this is the official place where you get it from but this is the best website where I found you can get it from it tells you all the stuff and you can even customize everything you want down here I, um, I would definitely not check any of this I don't know if any of these will work with this but you can customize what you want things to look like. So we we can change anything we want here. And you know, if you want to go through, customize it, whatever texture pack you have, uh, we're just going to download Doku Craft. So we're gonna give it that 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 seconds needed for the creator to make that money, because they need their money to keep doing their stuff. So skip that blank page and download if my internet wants to, you know, my internet's not very, very good. It's it's not the best. There we go. Mhm. Mm so while that's going, we're gonna need McPatcher. This is what, why I was a noob. I didn't use McPatcher. So this works for Windows, Mac, all of that stuff. So link in the description. All of the links will be down there. So scroll down until you find download, and Windows. Ba bam. Go for Windows, and all of their platforms. Go for there, so I am going to support them with that ad fly link because these guys work hard and they deserve the money that they get off this. You know, it's not that much from this website, but it's very it's very good for them to have. So here we go. Make sure you have the latest version of McPatcher because it it does change a lot of things. So make sure also if you go back, let me go back to the page. Make sure it tells you that it's compatible with the latest Minecraft version. So right here, Minecraft 1.1, oops, and the latest snapshot. So off the bat, we know this is compatible with our latest version. So also, if you get an error while trying to load McPatcher, which I'm going to show you how to fix all this right now. So if something goes wrong when you're trying to do the next step, I would just recommend doing this anyway. So before you log in, choose options and then force update and then log in and let it do its thing and then when this is done I will be right back now if you get an error while doing this process if it if you get some kind of error while you're trying to force update it then this is what you want to do quit out of the game go into your finder navigate to the minecraft folder I've covered this so many times but it's in library application support at the top and scroll down near the bottom it's alphabetical order so find minecraft then go into the bin folder and just delete or just delete the entire bin folder put that in the trash but since it worked for me I'm going to leave it this way so we're gonna save this window because we're gonna go back to the minecraft folder anyway so first thing you wanna do is open up the latest version of McPatcher and yes open it and it's going to scan and make sure your minecraft.jar is working. So if you get an error while it's scanning it, that means you have a mod or something installed that it's that's just making it not it's just messing up with the thing. So here we can just simply press patch if you don't want any any special features. But there are a few things that you need to patch. First thing is you need if you're doing a texture pack, you need these first two. It won't work. That's the whole point of McPatcher for higher texture packs, but in custom colors, 
Um, I would just leave that on. It just gives you more customizability. It gives texture packs control over hard-coded colors in the game. I don't know exactly what that means. So I would just leave it. I don't know if it will screw up anything, but it has to do with texture packs. Now, random mobs. What this does is sometimes texture packs that support it, they have mobs that are not always the same so there might be two different types of creepers now this doesn't mean they will act different they will just have different skins so for instance there was a zombie that was one-headed it they just didn't have texture over their head so they looked like they were one-headed but it performed the same as a regular zombie so i don't think doku craft supports it but everything does really so i would just keep that checked it, it just makes the game look cooler so better grass um, what this does is it does not improve the look of grass it doesn't make it better it just allows grass to grow on the side of blocks. So there will be grass on the sides of blocks. Only the ones that are directly connected to grass. It's kind of confusing. But I would just leave all the settings the same and then press patch. Nothing else you really need to do. And you can also have the option to unpatch right here if you ever need to come back to it. So now we can quit that. And here is our texture pack that we downloaded. And this needs to be a compressed zip format the problem that I had once before that was really really frustrating is I compressed this you need to compress everything in here so go into the file that you downloaded press command a which will highlight everything or if you want to highlight it the old-fashioned way then right click and choose compress how many items and it's gonna give you an archive.zip at the bottom put that on your desktop and now, let's see, let's see. Okay, so go ahead and name this to whatever you want. This is what it's going to show up in your Minecraft. So, blah. So then all you have to do is put that into your texture packs folder. And I have my DokuCraft Lite, and then we have our blah, which are somewhat different. So now I'm going to open up my Minecraft, and I will show you our end result. All right, so we've got our Minecraft open, so we're going to go into texture packs. Now, normally when you open it up, this is what it's going to look like. So you're going to need to go in and grab your texture pack that you have. So in our case, it's blah. And if it's grayed out, if it looks weird, if it's if it won't let you click on it, that means you have the wrong, some something that went wrong. So you need to go back and make sure you've done this process right. Make sure you compress the actual files, all of them, not just the folder. So then once you have it selected, press done. And then you can go in and test out your texture pack. Much better. Now the water looks nice. It looks beautiful. So thank you for checking out my Minecraft tutorial. If you like this video, you can give it a rating, and then I will see you guys next time. Peace. Oh, creeper. Check this out. Oh, I like this world. Mm -hmm. I built this. Oh, yeah. It's a nice world. Peace.